Hi, and welcome to Jerry's Engineering Corner. My name is Jerry DiBattista, and I am the Global VP of Porex's Vertec PTFE Business Group. Today we're going to stay on the theme of sustainability. Recently, Europe has passed uh, legislation limiting the um, use of POPs, or persistently organic pollutants. Of those, uh, uh, items like PFOA, PFOS have been banned and are being very strictly regulated. Porex Vertec is a pure PTFE material. It has no PFOA or any kind of residual persistent organic pollutants. It's a pure material, 100% pure, uh, does not biodegrade or make its way into uh, the water system over time. What I want to show you is how other membranes start to behave like PTFE membranes, which really are the gold standard in the marketplace. Typically, you start off with a nylon or a polyester non-woven fabric, and then a secondary membrane is either cast or somehow bonded to it. So you can see here, this is a, um, a, uh, a polyester backing and a uh, cast membrane that was put on, and then it actually can be fused together uh, or can be cast on it to make a final membrane. Now this membrane will have one side be the active side, that's where all the either filtering or uh, all the active properties are happening, and then it'll be the backing side, which is the base material, which again would be polyester or typically a nylon. So this here is a standard uh, nylon backing, and as you can see, the water actually doesn't run off. It actually absorbs into uh, the matrix. So how do you make it more uh, hydrophobic? Well, you use either some kind of chemical treatment or uh, which can contain PFOAs, or you do a plasma treatment or something else, and then the material becomes, you can see, more hydrophobic. You can see that? The water runs off. So that's done via usually a chemical process. <clears throat> this here is, um, and then the materials are joined, either by heat or steam or somehow uh, pressing together or cast onto one of these membranes where you put something that is actually uh, doing the microfiltration or uh, microventing. The thing is with, uh, with these cast type materials is that one part will have a different property than the other side. So if you look at this one side, which is actually the active side, you can see the water runs off uh, quite nicely as uh, it is naturally hydrophobic. But if you turn around to the other side, you can see the water actually doesn't beat up quite as well. It still runs off, but you can see it begins uh, to puddle a little bit on the membrane. With Porex Vertec, it's 100% PTFE. You can see it readily runs off, beads up, and you can turn around. Either side behaves exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which side is facing up or down, you always have the same level of hydrophobicity. As you can see, the water just dances on the membrane. Another nice advantage of using a pure PTFE is you'll have all the pure PTFE properties. Extremely good chemical resistance, very, very high heat resistance, uh, really strong tear resistance, uh, really impermeable to uh, almost any, uh, any damage. So I'm going to do a little demo with a heat gun, which we'll turn on. And you can see, with the PTFE, nothing. Let's see what happens to the other membrane. Another amazing property of PTFE is its flame resistance. Uh, PTFE meets, can meet a UL uh, 5VA flame rating, which means it's uh, completely flame resistant. And so if you can see, please don't try this at home, folks. Um, PTFE, no damage. But if you take a cast membrane, as you can see, completely destroyed. And here's another example of a cast membrane. As you can see, after a couple passes, completely destroyed. 
PTFP. No damage. So if you're looking for a membrane that is PFOA and PFOS free, extremely durable, water and oil resistant on both sides, and doesn't char up and burn if it's exp uh, exposed to high temperature, really the choice is clear. It's Porex Vertec PTFE. Well, that's it today for me, Jerry with a G.